Hello viewers, my name still remains Emmy Quadri. Welcome to the second segment of this interview. In the first segment, we, we spoke with the visioner and the music director for the group I'm about to introduce to you. Welcome, Honesty Creed. Hi! You're Thank welcome you. to the studio. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Um, let's start with you introducing yourself to the viewers. They will really want to know you. Yeah, yeah. So tell us your name and where you are coming from. Who wants to go first? <laughs> okay. Thank you. My, my name is Choma Ochadi. All right. I'm the second to the last born of five children. Wow. Um, I'm, a, I'm a student mm. as well. And I'm from Delta State. Delta State. Okay. Yes. The okay. late... The so, lady next to... Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My name is um, Tommy. I'm the first of two children. I'm from Undo State, and I'm a loctician by profession. Oh. Yes. All right. Okay, so my name is Daniel Achade. Yes, I'm from Delta State, Ukwale. So I'm the last born of five children. Yes, I'm also a dog breeder and a musician, and also a student. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. But I heard... Ochade and Ochade. Yes. Are you guys? Yeah, yeah I see this. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. That nice. is the Blanc. Oh, yes. I can see it now. <laughs> Are you sure? Do you look alike? Please. <laughs> All right. Do you look alike? Um, <laughs> so, Daniel. Yeah, okay. Um, can you tell us um, about your musical experiences before joining this group, Honest Secret? Okay, okay. So, um, let me just start from when um, I started singing on my own. Actually, it actually started from church. Yes, started from church, started singing, singing in the choir, mm. you know, and um, started building myself personally. But you know how hard it can be. Yeah. Come up, you know, you coming up by on yourself, your own, building yes. yourself, you know. So what I just did mostly was just to post videos on my Instagram pages and some social, social uh, media handles and all. Mm. So that's what I was doing mainly. Then I was backing up for some um, artists. Also did some BGVs in some studios, you know, oh. some works and all. So, so wow, that's, that's interesting. That's just, that's it. All right. Yeah. Tommy? Yes. Um, so for me, I started singing right from when I was really young, like really much more younger than this because I'm mm. still young. First thing for me, I was much younger as a child. So I think I was in a child, in a, like children choir in church, but okay. not really, you know, now just go and sing. Then um, as I grew older, I started to realize that, okay, music is something that I, I, I need to, to take do. yes more seriously. So um, I started backing up for artists and then I worked in, in a studio, in, in a recording studio as well. Um, and then I joined choir in my church, the Brook Church Lagos, and yeah, so that's my journey so far. Oh, okay. Chioma? Okay, for me, I've always loved music, right from when I was very small. Mm. I've always loved music. I also started from the children choir, then when I started growing up, then I started doing other things like backups for an artist, and scoring of songs, I'm doing vocal exercises just to improve myself more on music. Mm. Yes. So um, it's like everybody started from the church. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, Choma, let me start from you again. Um, okay. How do you come about joining this group, Honesty Creed? Okay, not like I saw it on anywhere or I saw a flyer or something. Okay. So um, my ending in church. Um, told me about this audition coming up oh. at Honesty Creed. So I did not have like an interest to go for it because you'll be like, Choma, you have to go, you know, you love music and you know, if you want to take music as your career, you have mm. to look into it. Yeah. So I was like, okay, no problem that I will try. So the day I wanted to go, he called me was like, ah, it has been postponed. Wow. So probably the next week you will go for it. I said, okay, no problem. Then I came and it was fantastic. Mm. So I had it through my MD. Through your MD? Yes. Okay. Tommy? Yeah, for me, um, how I got to know about um, 
Honesty Creed was the audition for Honesty Creed was through um, um, a client that um, I had worked with before, and her name is Faisal. She's a makeup artist. Okay. So she had called Mr. I think Mr. Sonny had spoken to her that he needed they needed them. So she had called me and just she had called to just ask if I was still interested in doing music and all. And then she um, she told me to you know come for the audition. So I came for the audition, and the rest is history. History. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let me guess, me, right? <laughs> the man of Okay, the so um, I also heard also from my MD. Yes, same MD. We attend the same church, the Blessed House. Okay. So I heard it from my MD. At first, when he told me, I, I was actually backing off for an artist. So I was still thinking about it. Should I stop? Should I quit to go for the audition? Should I do this? How should I, you know? But I just decided and I said, okay, let me go for the audition. So I came there and got to control. It was fantastic. Wow. Yeah, it went well. That's nice. Yeah. So um, I heard that uh, your album is about to be released. Yes! yes. <laughs> 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 I was really, uh, you know, excited too when I heard about it. And I'm really, really looking forward to hearing those beautiful songs inside the yes. album. Yes, trust me. So trust me. They, are so, they are so beautiful. <laughs> All right. Um, can you just tell us, like, Tommy, I'm talking to you now. Can yeah. you tell us some challenges that you faced, you know, personally while recording those songs? Okay, um, so first of all, I've never been a recording artist. At all. So <laughs> this was my first um, attempt at, you know, um, recording my own Probably. stuff, right? So basically, I've always done only just being a backup artist for someone, maybe in a studio or something. So being a backup is different from recording your own right. stuff, <laughs> right? Because so, yeah. and then so, um, working with the people that we worked with, like Mr. Sonny as the music um, director, director. Mm. it was it was a f um, it was a very beautiful journey. Mm -hmm. Though it came with his stress and all, but it was worth it because um, we had the opportunity to write songs. We had the opportunity to sit down and you know think of how to um, work on our songs and you know even by the help of the Holy Spirit though, and you know put out something really great. And, you know, the fact that um, we had Mr. Sonny to always be there to, you know, yeah. coach and yeah. correct and, you know, you are not doing this well. You have to go back and yeah, retake it. And, you know, like sometimes I'm just sitting and I'm like, God, these songs are so beautiful. But <laughs> when people are listening to this song, they will not know the kind of stress. They will not know the kind of stress that will want you to record this song. <laughs> like, it just sounds so similar, but there was a lot of work that went into, yeah. you know, yeah. bringing out this beautiful piece and... I can't wait for everybody to hear it actually. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you now trying to say if I have a song of my own and I have the money, I cannot just enter the studio and sing and it will be okay? You can enter the studio to sing now. Yeah. <laughs> you can sing. You, easy. you can sing. <laughs> you can sing, but you, you, you ha there's some things that you'd have to, um, there's some things that you have to note, like, because, I mean, you just don't want to put out anything, just anything, because you just want to mm -hmm. do music, right? You want to make sure that you're putting out something very um, good, something very concrete that people would see and would, would, they would want to go back to listen to again. Just don't want to put out anything because mm -hmm. you have the money or yeah. because you think that you have the the studio to yeah. yourself. You have to put so out there something really good. Cool. There are ways to wear. There are ways to wear. Two years is better than one. Yeah. So you cannot just go to the studio. Just you Definitely when you go there, if you have different bodies, put them heads together. Heads together. Yeah. When you are dropping a song, different suggestions. Different yeah. ideas. The different ideas. Yes. So definitely the song is going to come out well. Exactly. So what would you now say is your own personal challenge or challenges while recording the album? Okay, like she said earlier, she said something earlier. Recording and singing live is a little bit different. Like, now, when you're recording, you need to take note of your diction. Yeah. You know, you're taking note of diction. You're taking note of different, different things. But you can as well go live and sing, and people will not really people pay attention. Not to exactly. Yeah, exactly. You, you, yeah. Yeah. So, so, it's like two different things. Take, which you, 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 take, you yeah. can get away with some certain yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, take, you take note of your notes, like, 
the software notations you are doing, the um, the sound you are making, not going off and all. But I know definitely when you sing live, you are not supposed to go yeah, off. Yeah, that's too pleasant. Yeah, recording. What's recording? It's going to show there. You get so that's just so you. The, the challenge is there is just that I, I just well I just thank God because we've been able to like scale through and with all the challenges yeah we just thank God that there were people there to just put us through yes yes, yes. So that makes it just, easier yes, yes. Very, very, very easy okay Choma did you experience a different challenge from what they've stated so far no uh, <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> the same. The same experience. So, yes. I, can't, I don't know if you remember those times when we come back just because of diction. We well, do the song. I'm even telling you, you feel, Even when you feel you are doing the right thing, like yes. your head is telling you are doing the right thing, but then you just talk. come up and tell you no, you're not doing this thing way. It has to be one word. We can do it this certain way. Because of one word, yes. like, one one phrase, we can actually redo the whole song. Like, yes. but I mean, it's a beautiful experience yes. because yes. I mean. It just makes you, um, just makes us to understand that we just can't do anything anyhow. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. There's, there has to be perfection, a level of perfection. There has to be excellence in yeah. whatever yeah. we are doing. Yeah, yeah. We, we just don't um, do anything. Wow. And I mean, I mean, with the with the standard our honesty records um, has, you know, we can't do anything less. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that means standard. That, I know. that means music is a lot of work. Yes, yes. it is. It is. Yeah. it is. It is a lot of work. Hmm. Okay, um, Choma, please, can you tell us what should your um, your fans, the viewers out there, what should they expect in this album? Well, nothing <laughs> but the best. Trust me, these songs are so lifting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't know whatever they are going through, but listening to these songs will change their lives yeah. yes. for the good, yes. for the better. Yes, rather. yes, 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 yes. yes. For the so, best, yeah. actually. Yeah. Okay, um, Tommy, um, what, what are your expectations in this group within three years to, to, to now? Uh, from now, in the space of three years, um, I mean, I can only say that we, what, what I see, you know, what I see us doing in you know in the space of three years is always recording more songs having more albums mm -hmm. yeah. going on tours uh, yeah. singing on international yeah. stages you know yeah. and winning awards yeah. yes. spreading the good news spreading the good news you know yeah. speaking about the love of god and you know reaching to the ends of the earth just telling people how much god loves them with our songs and you know, yeah. yeah okay um would you want your viewers to know your experience with uh, honesty Honesty yeah, itself, sure. honesty music, you know. Yeah, sure. Uh, working with honesty missions is just amazing. I will mm -hmm. say that. And I'd like to say thank you to Mr. Tony because yeah. Um, yeah. it's one thing for you to um, get the vision and it's one thing for you to run with it. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Tony has the vision and he's running with it. If he wasn't doing that, we would not be here. I want to thank God for that. Do you, do you know one thing I like about Mr. Tony? It's not just about the music, music. He's also into the spiritual aspect. Exactly. Yeah. So, I'll, yeah. yeah. So, so, every rehearsal, even before we rehearse, he makes sure he talks to us, read the scriptures, you know. He just builds, you know. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he's building in every aspect. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, it's not all about singing yes, alone. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Yes, yes. 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 That's good. Uh, so, Choma, uh, before we wrap up the program, um, can you just tell us uh, what would be your advice to the thousands or millions of people watching you right now? Okay, I'll just say to them, just keep working hard. Yeah. Um, especially um, if you want to take music as a career, I advice you keep mm. working, keep yeah. writing songs, keep praying, keep trusting God. Yeah. And one day, you, they'll get them. Yes. Well, that is they, it. They'll get they them. Get it them. might not be easy, but with God. Yeah. All things are definitely <laughs> possible. Yeah. Yeah, and, they, and they should also not look down on any opportunity. So, yes. Mm. I mean, if we are looked down on this opportunity, we'll not be here today. Wow. Okay. Uh, Dan, any advice to your fans out there? Okay, um, just uh, put God first. When you put God first, He will speak to you and direct you. Definitely. So, 
That's yeah. just that's just all. Mm. Yeah. Put God first. Mm -hmm. That's deep. Yeah, focus on God. Mm. Don't don't go for your hand. <laughs> okay. Um what would you say um is the most, you know, captivating song among the the songs in the album. That one I do. Everything is captivating. Because, like, like, I mean, everything is really captivating. Everything has, all the songs has a message. Yeah. 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 They have that's, their different messages so. and they minister to every area. Street so, praise. I mean, the, 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 we have the street yeah. praise, we have the, the worship, we have the... Exactly, yeah. like, so, every, every song has its message, its message and, yeah. like, just anticipate the mm. album because wow. it's really it's really going to be amazing. Yeah. Like I mean, yes. look, if you listen to the song, I mean, like I think there are like twelve tracks there. Mm -hmm. I mean, like five, six, seven songs. With, you like you you will listen you will listen. I love all the songs. I'm not just loving the songs, but they will minister to your soul. Yeah. And I mean, these these are songs that you listen to and you would you would experience healing in areas of your life that mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that you need god's touch like because i mean this is not just us recording and all we we we, we pray we i mean we're not just putting things we're intentional about whatever it is that we're putting out there we're not just doing anything yeah. so we're intentional about this album and because we we know what we want god to do through this album mm -hmm. to want want more life souls to be saved we want healing people you know people experience healing on, in all areas of their life experience mm -hmm. peace experience joy you know like Someone with suicidal thoughts would listen to this album and, you know, they would, they would see the hand of God in, upon their life and they would yeah. stop having those thoughts. And, you know, like, there'll be test, we just want, like, people should listen with, a, with their open mind and, mm -hmm. you know, just receive what God has for them through this yeah. album. That's just what I'll just But say. I would like to be the first hand, you know. <laughs> 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 yes, before we leave the studio, because I will, I, I will want you to to at least sing, let's hear your natural voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to do you this here? <laughs> do you have to do this here? Just sing any, uh, any song, any from, song the from, from the album. Oh, okay. Yes. Let's, let's. Every knee must bow. Every tongue confess. Let the earth proclaim. You are God most high. Wow, 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 wow. Hooray! <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh, man. Ah. I feel like I should have you for... You the... feel like you're in heaven, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you got the point. <laughs> okay. Thanks, viewers, for joining us for this interview. You know, we feel like not allowing them to leave. But we don't have any choice. Yes, thank you. All. So, until we meet you again in the same studio, the same um, station, Honesty Missions International. God bless you. I remain Emmy Quadri. Thank you. <laughs>